Hello, everybody. Today we are gonna be drawing an absolute beast of a man. He's big. He's throbbing. He's full of mysterious juice. We are drawing Bane today. Now, Bane's build is similar to the Hulk or Nappa if you're the degenerate weeb. It's a nice little switch up from the standard superhero anatomy we see on this channel. Keeping the build true to its original form, his massive shoulders and torso are going to make his head proportionally smaller. A hot tip for anybody drawing a character like this, make sure to raise the traps and really thicken the limbs. This should help you avoid making a human Clifford by accident. For inspiration, I'm looking at whatever Google blesses me in terms of Bane pictures, as well as Batman Hush, which I just have lying around. I find it very relaxing to draw super muscular arms. Usually they don't give me too much fight. I can just sit back, follow some anatomy reference, put some music on, and just relax. Taking him in me. I mean, 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 taking the process in of drawing something like this helps me relax after a busy week. You know, Christmas week can be pretty stressful. It's, it's a lot like having friends you haven't seen in a while. And, you know, you see them. You want to make it a special occasion, but you know, it's kind of like, what are you going to do? Totally not projecting. Issues aside, I feel like winter is like a toxic relationship. Icicles form under the roof, enchanting you with their shimmering. The powdery snow coats all the hills, counteracting the darkness with just glistening reflections. And as you try to appreciate all that is out there, the blistering cold slams you back inside. Now you're stuck there, waiting for the inevitable grime and melting of all those huge, previously bright mountains. You know, when I'm working on a piece like this, sometimes I forget this is all going to get erased. Uh, this attention to detail is something that in the end won't matter. You know, it's, it's really killing the amount of time it takes on the piece, because I'm definitely putting in way too much work on this skeleton. The truth is, even though I'm not inking, I still like having a solid foundation before committing to shapes. Speaking of commitment, right now I still haven't committed to a mask, so I'm going to do the comic one over the Dark Knight one. You know, the Dark Knight one is cool and all, but it just can't compete with the sheer iconicness of the comic book one. Really, it just doesn't stand up as well. But holy, let me know if you're excited for the upcoming Batman movie. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I feel like there's really no way they can outshine the Dark Knight trilogy. Like, that was just a masterpiece of cinema. But... It's new content, and uh, I think it will be pretty good. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't wish you all a happy New Year's. Who can forget these past 12 months where I may or may not have taken a accidental six-month break from YouTube? You know, it happens. It happens, guys. I'm really hoping for this next year that I could really hit you guys hard with upcoming content. You know, it's, it's, it's always something I try to do, but, you know, there's just so much stuff that always goes in. So I'm really trying to break down and schedule it a lot better for you guys, just so it's a little bit more consistent, a little bit more, um, a little bit more shorts in the mix, too. I hope you guys will enjoy that. Can we all just take a moment to appreciate these bulging veins? Holy. Wow. This guy is absolutely pumped full of venom. You know, I'd really like to show the venom somehow by, like, coloring this. Maybe I'll color something if we actually end up hitting 100 subs on this channel sometime as, like, a little special. Normally, I try to keep this channel mainly inks, uh, pencils, digital art, too. That's kind of what I mainly do now because a lot of the thing with coloring is... You need all the steps beforehand before you even start coloring. You need the pencils. Inks are maybe not. If you're doing more of a painting style, which I'm not particularly good at, you don't need the ink in at all because you're just going to be covering up the pencils. But it tends to add on the time, almost doubling it. So that's really why I don't do it too much on this channel. But who knows? Maybe, maybe there might be a special coming up. Who knows? If you guys were wondering what I'm drawing with, this is a lead holder. It's similar to a mechanical pencil, but it has the width of a traditional pencil. You could put a whole bunch of different kinds of leads ranging from different hardnesses and colors. Now I'm sure what you all really want to know is, is this going to make me a better artist? And the answer is yes, obviously buying materials is more important than any kind of skill. Of course. Kidding aside, this is actually pretty helpful uh, because the lead can be extended and retracted to suit your needs. I, for instance, when I'm sketching, I like the lead a little bit longer, so I avoid pressing too hard that I won't be able to erase it. Product placement aside, 
I feel like it's a pretty useful tool for anyone. It's definitely not something I find to be necessary. However, you know, it can help you out with some pieces. You know, at this point in the drawing, the piece is really coming together. I, I feel like most of the art improvement I've made over like the past however long has really been this last year, you know. I've really focused on like actually learning like constructive drawing rather than just like approaching it as like single individual things to draw. It's more about just like certain concepts and like ways of creating pieces that really help me improve quite quite a quite a bit in quite a quick time. It's definitely something that I can see almost anyone being able to learn how to draw. It I'd probably say give it like every three to six months you're gonna see a kind of a leap in improvement by then. Now the million dollar question is is it actually uh, valuable to, you know, pursue art? And my answer, my answer would actually be yes, uh, depending on, you know, uh, what, what type of industry you're in, what you want to serve. For instance, if you're in uh, web design, uh, composition and stuff like that definitely would help you with your job. But the million dollar question is illustration a good way to make money? And obvious answer is no, <laughs> like it, it's pretty terrible. Let's look at you could be making this at Target and there's a whole lot less risk and uh, time requirement. <laughs> so in terms of like a business aspect of uh, picking up art, I definitely say it's not it's not great. Uh, it's a lot more catered to uh, like a side hustle or a hobby, to be honest with you. It's just something it's something you do that you're passionate about. And obviously, you know, this, is get, this isn't the same for every person, like, depending on your, you know, your skill, your ability, and, you know, um, how much demand there is for your work. Ob obviously, if you have huge demand, you could be uh, making pretty decent money as an artist. But what I think, um, what I think is most useful is um, incorporating, like, elements of art into, like, more, uh, more marketable skills, I think is is probably the most beneficial way for anybody picking up art to go about it. Now, if you made it this far into the video, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Show your support somehow. Um, recently, I, I released a how to make an arm video, which um, goes over the exact steps of how I made this arm in this video. It's pretty much the same thing. I made sure to include reference, all of that good stuff, as you can see right here. It did super well. Thank you all for your support. And guys, here's the finished drawing. Uh, I appreciate all of you for sticking around this long, um, and I'm out.